Howdy and welcome to the Cape. It's great to have you back. I'm Mark and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Back for another episode. So, you left off. We got all the ribbing done. Now, after some study on the uh, instructions here, figured out what goes back here and what goes on next. And I don't think my glue is working. So I wasn't able to find uh, better instructions. So I'm going to do my best with what I've got. Now I had to pre-shape these things because they weren't going to fit. I was going to end up breaking them. So I had to steam them and then wrap them around a form and let them cool so we can put those on. <clears throat> Took me a while to figure out what's what and what goes where just because of the uh, instructions they are actually pretty poor instructions looks like all they did was photocopy them so it makes it very hard to figure out uh, what's what you can't read the numbers on them so you're just going by the look of things I think I have most of it figured out, so we'll see as I go. So I'm curious to know if anybody's picked up a uh, model wooden boat. If you uh, start doing it, how do you like it? Where'd you get it from? Let me know in the comments. Curious. How do you like doing it? Is it frustrating you just as much as it is me? Or do you find it very easy? So I'm going to try and get these sides on. And these upper rails. And the rudder on in this episode and I'll see how it goes at that point see if I go any further or if that's where I stop for this one now I've also noticed that going through the instructions for what I can see and can read <clears throat> there's stuff that they don't even give you there is a little piece of copper, I'm assuming some sort of photo etch type thing that I'm supposed to bend and in certain ways to build something, I don't know what it is. And then there is also some 0 .0, 0 0.6 millimeter copper wire that I need. So, I'm going to have to try and find some of that stuff and see what I can do about this copper point, 0 0.5 millimeter copper sheet. Now, we're talking pretty, pretty thin, so I don't know uh, quite where I can get that around here. I don't have any local hobby stores or anything nearby, so closest one I believe is about three hours away so for one tiny little piece I don't plan on driving three hours so I'm going to try and pre-assemble some of this this here is the rudder now if I had uh, a hobby store nearby 
I'd probably look at <clears throat> doing some really fine detail on these. Since I don't, I'm going to basically build it as it is. Now, I might do a little bit depending on what I figure I can find or do. This was a little bit bigger. I might actually cut this apart right here. Maybe make a couple of hinges. Make it a little more detailed, highly detailed kind of thing. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask in the comment section. And remember, you are working with super glue, so <clears throat> make sure you don't glue your fingers together. Use with caution, use with common sense, and keep away from children. Okay, and this one, still haven't figured out a tailpiece for it. Should be something similar to this one, but I'm not sure. I thought it was this, but I see there is another one right here. So I don't know if that's for something else. They're both the same number, 10 and 7. And from what I've been seeing, a lot of these end parts, tiny ones here, some here, these ones, these ones, these ones, <coughs> excuse me, they seem to go on the side of the ship for the um, rigging. Okay, I think I've got most of this figured out. So there is two of them. One is thicker than the other. One goes there, one goes here. So let's get these glued up. And then uh, we'll see how we can fit them together. Okay, time to go on this deck. Very gently line up all the uh, ribs and the grooves without gluing yourself to it. Now, if you can, <clears throat> use a few small clamps. Careful where you put them. Try to have clamps that aren't too, too strong. I don't know how much this is going to work, but. Now, I don't have enough clamps, so I'm going to have to hold some of it too. Give that a few minutes to make sure it cures. It shouldn't take too long with this glue. Try and get it down as tight as you can. So if you guys, any of you guys build these and have some ideas or tips, I'd love to know. Leave a comment. I'll definitely look at it. If you have ideas to make things easier, better ways, better glue, whichever it might be. I'd love to know. 
like this was stated before, this is the first time I've ever built a wooden model ship. Maybe there's a better glue. Obviously, I definitely need more clamps. Okay, I'll let this dry, and I'll be right back. So the next thing, I guess I'm going to put this on. This should sit flush with the bottom of this. It's like so. So it's flush up against that. And then on the inside, be in here. And from the looks of this, I'm going to have to clamp, glue and clamp as I go. Which means only having three clamps, this is going to be a long, slow process. So I'm going to do this for both sides. And I will come back and show you. Got one side done. Not the easiest thing when you only have three clamps. But we got it. So afterwards, I'll clean up down here. A little bit of an overhang in some spots, nothing major. I'll make sure that's flat so that when I start my boards on the side, everything can butt up nice. So, start number two. When I'm done, I'll be back to show you. There we go. Both sides on. Doesn't look too bad. Just got to put the back piece on now. I still have to trim up under here just a little bit, not much. Just to make sure it's nice and flush. So, next thing is going to be fitting this piece in. Now this has to fit on the inside all the way through. And it's going to fit flush to the top. When that one's on, <clears throat> This one will fit on top of it, flush to the outside. So I'll get that done. And I'll fit that back piece on. And then once I've got that done, I'll show you. <clears throat> that one's on. Just going to have to do a bit of sanding here, flush it up a little bit. Get that done, and then we'll put the other piece on. Now... We're going to fit this onto here, like so, like that. First, it's going to need some adjusting, some clamping. Some... So, I'll get that all done up, and I'll show you when that's done. Okay, my friends. There we go. So, got the sides on, both sides. We got the inner rib on, then we got the upper trim on. Now the last thing I got to do is fit this in here. I've already taken the liberty to shave down this edge and sand it, both sides, and I've also Made sure that I've shaved down this trim flush with the side and sanded that and on the inside as well. So that's all done smooth. So once I do this, we'll be ready for the boards on the bottom. That'll be next episode. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit like, share, subscribe hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next episode plus go check out some of the other stuff i've been working on until then later